um grade 12 um welcome back um into our lesson video um into our revision video by the way um for for our best paper for geography november 2016 um yes so today we're going to be discussing figure 2.2 um looking um on our next year okay yes okay we have our next year, as you can see figure 2.2 which uh, shows or illustrates the type of rivers that we have okay so we have okay so we have um river x y and z so in terms of answering okay because we have to choose which is which into our own um questions we have to say if it's a uh, x y or z so we are going to we're going to settle the right answer okay or the right river that is that is required there okay we're going to circle like this if it's z we're going to circle z if it's y we're going to circle y if it's x we're going to circle x and then end okay that's how it goes so um let's jump into our very first question um in this figure 2.2 so let's go and first um analyze our figure 2.2 so we have river x at the top there okay we have river x um we have river y and we have river z okay so there is also dotted lines which are bold okay which shows the water table during the wet season okay yes so the water table during during the wet season and the water table um during the dry season which is illustrated by by small dotted lines okay yes by these small dotted lines water table during dry season and the water table during summer season or wet season um which is illustrated by by bold dotted lines okay as you can see um the water table for for under river x there is no water table okay um for river y the water table is only above the river bed during the the wet season okay as you can see the water table during wet season um illustrated passing through river y um looking to our river z you can see that both of um the water tables during summer even during dry season during um dry season and wet season both of those water tables are passing through meaning that are above the the river bed of z okay yes that means something okay but we're going to to look for for that in our in our questions okay yes i think we're done analyzing our our figure 2.2 okay so figure 2.2 showing three types of rivers named x y and z so the very first question 2.2.1 says which river x y or z is episodic okay so episodic river first of all this is the river that is only um running through during heavy rains okay during um the the high surface runoff and so on only okay that's an episodic episodic river meaning that looking to our x y and z which river um is um dependent on high rainfalls or on the surface water it's x okay yes so our answer here is is x okay this is our answer is x okay the river that is ep episodic there is river x okay yes x is an episodic river question 2.2 2.2.2 says which river x y or z flows only in rain season okay mind you if ever you know the definitions of of rivers and so on you'd understand by looking to our to our 
figure 2.2 um yes so the question says which river that is only running through wet seasons okay or rainy season yes which is summer season okay yes so the river that is only running through the wet season as you can see the water table during the wet season at y is above the the river bed okay but during the dry season is below the river bed meaning that this river is only running through the wet season okay meaning that y is our is our um river that runs through rainy seasons only okay so the answer for 2.2.2 is is y okay let's move to 2.2.3 2.2.3 says which river x y or z is dependent on surface water only so um so which river is dependent on surface water only meaning that this river in order for this river to be to be present or to be to be seen that there is water inside this river that is flowing through this river there must be a surface water okay yes which is maybe caused by heavy rainfalls and so on meaning that it's river it's river x which is episodic river okay yes so mind you guys who have um some types of rivers and so on okay yes but i think as as we are doing um dealing with our question i'm going to to tell you um about different rivers and so on okay but i did um a lesson video um showing different types of rivers and so on explaining more about them okay yes but in case for this for some who are um who are confused and so on okay so 2.2.4 says which river x y or z flows throughout the year so which river x y or z flows throughout the year meaning that this river is flowing through rainy season and is also flowing through dry seasons which one meaning that this river must be a permanent river or or it must be a perennial river okay perennial river and permanent river is the same thing yes this is one of the things that i have said um, i'm going to explain or to emphasize okay during um the dealing of our questions okay so it's river z okay it's river it's river z as you can see that river z the water table during wet season is above the river bed and also the water table during the dry season is above the river bed meaning that it's it's running both in both season wet season and and dry seasons okay yes let me go okay 2.2.5 says which river x y or z flows only for a very short period of time okay this river is, is flowing for for a very short period of time okay maybe it's just um flowing through um time to time like um during few days or few weeks then it disappears it becomes dry again okay yes it must be an episodic an episodic river okay which is also known as non perennial river okay yes our river x okay it flows only on a very short period of time meaning that the water inside must be maybe evaporated and so on okay so 2.2.6 says name the river x y or z in which the water table intersects the channel throughout the year meaning that the river is running throughout throughout the year you know perennial rivers or permanent rivers are running through out there which is river which is river z okay which is river is river z okay it's running throughout or the channel intersects throughout throughout the year the water table intersects the channel throughout 
throughout the year meaning that it's also running through um, rainy seasons and also running through dry seasons as you can see let's go back okay as you can see your why this is running through um, dry seasons and also is running through the world seasons okay throughout the year okay let's go to the last um, question of this um, figure so which river x y or z displays the biggest change in water levels between seasons so this river displays biggest change in water levels okay yes maybe there will be no water during a dry season or legal water during dry season but in what season there will be higher amount of water in the river okay yes which river is that it's river it's river y it's river it's river y okay it's river it's river y it's river y as you can see that river y in summer or in wet season it runs through the full water um the water table is above the river bed in the wet season in that there's high amount of water and in the dry season there is no water or little water as you can see that there the water table during the dry season is below the river bed of river y so that's why it is river y i guess that's the end of the lesson for a moment guys please don't forget to subscribe um please 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 it's just a reminder see you in the next form lesson cheers